Welcome back. It is time to learn how to play uh, Shape of You easy mode version with a loop pedal. So first thing we're going to do uh, for everyone, if you haven't watched the other videos on looping, please jump into the course. It's on school.com slash the one school of music looping guide or whatever it is. Um, please have fun with this. Uh, like this is an example. Jump in completely fail. I cannot wait to see you guys posting videos of yourselves trying to play this. It's gonna be so cool. Um, it did not happen my first try, so do not expect it to happen your first try. Um, and mind you, when I went into playing and getting into looping, I already had 15 years of experience playing guitar and being a good musician. Uh, so do not expect for you to just, if you're a beginner, to be like, hey, I'm gonna get this right away. Do not, like it didn't. I didn't get it right away. You guys will get it faster than me for sure because I'm telling you like, these are the things to focus on. Get your timing right. Do these things. Um, but this is how you dip your toes in and uh, completely fail. Have heaps of fun. Um, if you do it like a hundred times, you'll eventually get it. Trust me, uh, it will happen. So let's go straight into the, the chord progression that we're going to play. So we're going to follow my sequence of chords, bass, uh, sorry, chords, drums, bass, and then anything extra you want to do. So... The chord progression we're gonna do is gonna be Shape of You, but we're gonna do it in the key of G. So the chords are gonna go E minor, and then we're gonna do A minor, and then we'll do a C chord, and then a D chord. Okay, so you got that? So you can give it a try, you could do. And if you can't get that rhythm down, just go. That can be as simple as it is. Um, I'll actually do it in the most basic way possible. Um, so we're gonna do, this is like pretty much any, uh, you should at least be a beginner level guitarist moving on to intermediate um, and be comfortable with strumming chords. But this is as easy and as simple as you need to make this. We're gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Simple, right? Okay, so that's, we got our first layer done. Now, the drum groove doesn't have to be crazy. You don't have to be like. You don't need to do anything like that. You can be as simple as this. You just do a bass. If you want to do it like that. You could just do super just like one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's it. Now, if you want to add, I do kick snare at the same time when I do it, but if you need to separate the two, you can do it. So you can separate like this. Oh, hold on a sec. I will, um, so. When you're coming in on the drums, you can either do together and be very confident. So I'll do it together. So when I'm getting the kick, I'm just like tapping on the guitar, usually around the bridge, or you can tap it down here. You'll get different sounds depending on what your pickup does. And the, I just mute all the strings to get my snare. And some people like to get like a hi-hat. That's fancy stuff if you want to do it. Uh, now you can separate the two and you can do it like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that gives you two rounds to try and do it. Now we do the bass. Muscle memory too strong. So the bass is going to be just pick the bass notes of the chord. So E. So you start on the you start on the E A C D. Or you could do if you're doing open strings E A D. Oh, sorry C D. So we go. Up. 
So now you've got a bit of an arrangement going. Even though it sounds pretty garbo, like there's not a lot of feel happening here, but it, it's meant to be crap. Like it's meant to sound super boring and dead and stale at the beginning. So that's just as simple as I want you guys to get it. So see if you guys can do that in with your looper and see how far you can get. So I'll give you another example. We'll just smash through it again. Um, just as simple as that, just. And then you get to your drums. Then you can be like, you can start adding extra layers. You can do extra like guitar stuff. Um, I know a lot of you will see what I do and be like, oh my God, I wish I could do all the upper triads and all the clever stuff that he's doing. What is he doing? What's he doing there? Um, seriously, just literally I'm playing an E minor chord for this, for example. Um, just be like, okay, I'm going to play the chord progression, but only play two strings. So I'll go like... So just, you can actually just play the chords. So I go like E minor and just play like two strings. So I'm just playing through the chords. And see how that works. And that'll be enough of a good vibe. I'm playing the, the G and the B string and it already has a bit of a guitar fill and then if you're feeling super confident you can do guitar solos oh yeah nah sorry I was getting into it but that's just as, as simple as it needs to be you don't need to be doing crazy stuff um so that is building multiple tracks um multiple layers on just uh one loop and that's how you play uh, the chord progression of uh, Ed Sheeran in the key of G. So uh, Shape of You in the key of G. So super simple. Jump in, have fun. It is really, really like go back and rewatch these videos. The coolest thing that you can do with these YouTube videos is go back and put them on like 75% speed. Um, you can change it in the playback option uh, and just go back and, and try it just slow and just figure it out and just fail like please i i cannot stress enough you will suck um if any of you guys figured this out really really quickly um hats off to you because you're way better than me i it did not happen quick it did not happen quick i had to jump in and just bomb super hard uh speaking of bombing super hard i will make the next video talking about all the dumb shit that i've done when it comes to looping and mistakes and then i'll give you context on how you guys can fix them um and not make my mistakes Learn from me. <laughs> All right. I'll catch you guys soon. Thank you so much.